Now that the fidelity is checked, let's go ahead and solve. Turn off the fidelity tools and navigate towards the result arc. Here you will find the solve button. Click on it and you will see that the results will begin to form. You can check if the solution is complete by visually checking that the white progress line is no longer revolving around the SID. Or you can hover over the SID and see the status. We see here that the simulation is marked as complete and we can start to review our results. Let's review the options in the results arc. For mechanical problems, you can view contour and ISO surface results. You can set the deflections to be scaled, true or off. You can also show or pause animation. With contours activated, let's take a look at the legend. You can select the output results to display and the corresponding units. You can also adjust the range of your results by either dragging the upper or lower limits in, or by entering the values in directly. Upon doing so, you can click on the legend settings and select this button to switch the color display for out of range results. Within these settings, you can also locate the maximum and minimum values on the model, toggle the gradient style, and reset from all these changes. One last thing to note is that you can probe the solution anywhere on the model by hovering over the body and checking the legend. After clicking Solve, the solver will be kept on and will update these results automatically as you make changes on the model. To pause the solver, simply click on the Solve button again. Now, let's look at some of these results and see how we can save specific scenes and monitor specific parts of the model. Let's switch over to displacement results in millimeters and hide the maximum and minimum value indicators. Let's also pause the animation. We can now adjust some display settings and start saving some scenes. Navigate towards the lower left side of the window, where you will see the view arc. Here, you can modify the model view. You can change the display from solid to wireframe, View, modify, or reset your home view, switch between standard views, switch between coloring your model by geometry or by material, and set the selected body to be transparent or opaque. Know that additional display options are available in the display tab in the ribbon. Let's keep these display settings and click on home or hit H to orient the model to the default home view. To zoom in, hit Z. Let's now save this scene by clicking on the Save Current Scene button. Now, if you change the orientation, change the output results, and turn off contours, by clicking on the Save Scene, you can return to it. Now that we know how to set up the model, solve, and save scenes, let's see how we can assign monitors and start to do some design exploration. Discovery monitors allow you to monitor specific results on specific geometry as you iterate through different conditions, whether they are geometry or physics changes. Default monitors are available after solving and report on all bodies in the simulation. You can view these monitors by clicking on the Monitors button on the right hand side under the ribbon. You can create customized monitors by clicking on the Monitors button in the ribbon under the Simulation tab. You can then select the area of interest and select the result you would like to monitor. Note that you can select a secondary location to track the difference between the primary selection. Let's make some quick changes and observe how they are monitored. Let's pull up the factor of safety monitor for example. Before making the change, for visual management of our results, let's specify maximum and minimum limits, as well as a target. Now, let's change the mount material to aluminum and then to carbon steel to see the effects of the factor of safety. Prior to doing so, let's change the results to stress, keeping them on the X component. Enter H, then Z to reorient to the home view and zoom in. Let's now save a scene. Let's click on the material button in the simulation tab and let's select the mount. Change the material or the mount to the aluminum option available. Note that the aluminum will also now appear in the physics tree. The solution should automatically take place as we haven't paused the GPU solver. We can see that the solution is complete in the SID and the monitor now displays a new result. We can now see we have increased the factor of safety. The directions of the arrows, up or down, indicate an increase or decrease in the results since the last solution. The colors of the arrows, green, red, or white, respectively indicates an improvement, deterioration, or no change in the results since the last solution. Let's now change the material to the carbon steel option available. We can see now that we have decreased the factor of safety 